Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom, wait for it me, and it's time for another guide. This is the first episode of my generic class guide. The guide is supposed to be generic and will give you tips for all classes. You will learn what a class can do and what a class cannot do. Consequently, you will learn what to play around and what not to play around. There will be one episode for each class and probably one for neutral. The information is useful for Arena, Standard and Wild, as the guide has no restrictions. I'm not gonna lie, in Standard it is probably more important to know the current deck lists, um, but whenever you are facing an unknown deck, you can still use this information. I will also try my best um, to predict future changes and trends of classes as good as possible. Let's start right away with Druid. Sorry, this might be a bit boring, but we have to talk about the hero power. As everyone knows, it gives you one attack and one armor, which makes it quite versatile and relatively strong. The disadvantage is that this uh, ping uh, costs health and does not go through taunt. It's worth noting that Shapeshift can be upgraded by just a Katruha to double both amounts, which um, surprisingly never sees play. Okay, now we start with the interesting part. Um, what makes Street super unique is the very flexible Choose One ability. Um, many cards, like Wrath for instance, um, can be used as needed, like on the fly. If you don't need 3 damage right now, um, but you are very desperate to cycle a card, uh, you, can, you can just cycle uh, Wrath and just draw another card. Um, other cards, like Wisps of the Old Gods, um, buff your complete board or uh, refill it completely. Um, worth mentioning that um, the new legendary uh, Fandrel from the Old Gods expansion is a huge buff to all these Choose One cards. Um, the second unique ability is to generate mana crystals, uh, temporary and permanently. Here are a few examples. Uh, innovate, Anasis Aspirant, Maya Keeper, Wild Growth, Astral Communion all give you mana. Increasing your mana grants you more options and hence more flexibility for future turns. It furthermore allows you to play big threats faster. Alright, very quickly some obvious facts. Druid does not and will never have access to secrets, I promise. Um, Druid has a silence which might become more relevant than people think due to the recent nerfs of silent cards. Um, Druid does not have any weapons, although I could imagine that a special legendary similarly to Jaraxxus or Tyrion Fordring could give one day uh, Druid a weapon, but uh, certainly no cards will be introduced. Um, the hero power uh, and um, obviously many other cards uh, give the hero attack, which is relevant in some rare cases, like for instance uh, a Silithus Swarmer on the board. Um, currently Druid has various ways to generate armor, but no cards to profit from it, but one day the class could get a similar card to like Shield Slime or something like that. And the last point, um, spells or minions um, that hit neighboring minions, so in other words, do you need to position your minions in a special way to avoid um, damage uh, when you're playing against a druid? No, you don't have to do that, unless uh, Raven Idol generates a Faux Reaper, which is only possible in Wild. Okay, now let's talk about reactive cards and spell damage. Druid has quite a number of good early removal cards, such as Wrath and Living Roots. Also, Shapeshift comes in handy here. As large removal cards uh, like Nature Lies, Mulch or Starfire are at least somewhat um, playable. Um, the true weakness is Area of Effect, or short AoE, and Board Clear. What's the difference? AoE is Flame Strike, and Board Clear is, for instance, Brawl or Deathwing. Um, so the only AoE options are Starfall and Swipe, and the only board clear is Poison Seeds, which is an ex Ramos card and therefore not playable in Standard, and arguably not even a true board clear. Um, I would even go so far that Druid would be absolutely unplayable if it wasn't for Swipe. 
Uh, for direct damage, on the other hand, the class offers various options. Direct damage means um, spells like Fireball, who can hit anything ignoring Taunt. Here again shine Starfire, uh, Swipe and Living Roots. Now let's talk about buffs and board refill. The Druid has an insane armory of minion buffs, including many cards buffing all your minions, like Wisps of the Old Gods, um, or Scenarius, which also serve as the second part. Um, they fill or refill your board with multiple minions. More options here are, for instance, Force of Nature and Living Roots. Um, the main message here is that Druid is insane with the board and also good at refilling it. So, the classic example is um, Savage Raw dealing tons of damage if there is a board for the Druid. What about survivability and card draw? Druid has various ways to gain armor or health, and note that Taunt is excluded. Um, Shapeshift already generates armor and cards like Bite or Healing Touch help even more. Again, you have flexible cards doing whatever is required, like Ancient of Lore for instance. And also, the card draw part is very very strong. Um, for card draw, Druid has a lot of options, especially in the classic set. Starfire is a nice self-cycling card, Nourish is the new star in the slower meta, and always remember that you can cycle your wild growth or your wrath in the late game. Hence, Druid is a very consistent class when it comes to the late game. Let's very briefly mention synergies. There are four cards uh, to profit from beasts, but not enough for a complete deck so far. And two very strong Cthulhu cards um, are the reason uh, we see Cthulhu Druid right now in the meta. No worries, I'm not gonna tell you all the abilities um, of minions, just the interesting ones. Druid has two relatively strong charges with Druid of the Saber and Druid of the Claw, which make the class um, very flexible and very um, open for aggressive decks. Furthermore, the variety of taunt minions is huge, especially because they are pretty big, which makes the class even stronger in the late game. Alright, what else is there to say about Druid? Druid um, offers two cards that let your opponent draw, which has a small potential for mill decks, um, which have actually been there in the past. And no class has changed as much as Druid with the last nerfs of Ancient of Law, Keeper of the Growth, and the famous Force of Nature Savage Raw combo. Many people predicted that it would be unplayable right now, but it's still present in the current meta. And I say it will always be there unless they also nerf um, Innovate and or Swipe. In the past, Druid decks used to be favored in many matchups due to a Force of Nature Savage Raw, which is no longer the case. But right now, du Druids tend to present um, many threats uh, for Warrior decks, which is often uh, too much tempo for them. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that um, every druid deck is favored over every warrior deck, but there is a tendency that druids are favored a tiny bit um, over warriors, uh, which can also be seen in the matchup description of the Tempo Storm meta snapshot. The brown parts are warrior decks, and the higher the bar, the better the matchups. Nobody knows for sure what Blizzard will introduce. Uh, in upcoming expansions, but certainly the Choose One ability and uh, Mana Crystal generation will be unique to Druid. I also think that Blizzard will continuously introduce cards that enable this and keep the class flexible. Furthermore, the class will stay weak in terms of board clear and heavily depends on swipe. Due to this flexibility, Druid will feature different kinds of decks ranging from aggressive to control. Okay, let's summarize. Druid is the only class able to gain mana crystals. The weakness is the lack of board clear and other comebacks. The strength is buffing minions and full or refill the board and, e and also sustain and card draw. Overall, Druid is one of the most, if not the most flexible class in Hearthstone. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope I could tell you something new. Did I miss anything or do you disagree with my opinion? Let me know in the comments. See you in my next episode 
where we let the hunt begin. Bye bye.